Hey, in today's video I'm going to show you how to deploy a React app on GitHub Pages. This may be useful if you're um, if you're just trying to build a static website and you don't want any hosting fees because you can actually add a custom domain. Uh, another example would be if you um, have a personal website like I have mine um, here. I'll just open it up right now. Um, this is actually hosted on GitHub. I used a custom domain. It's relatively simple. and uh, but the thing is, it's not actually using React, and like maybe you want to actually list out your uh, previous work experience. Well, the best way to make sure that uh, to make that happen would be create a component for like work experience section, and then you just pass in the props, you know, job title, company, time, uh, responsibilities, and like that would make the most sense with an actual component. So that's an example of using React with GitHub Pages. And so, um, actually, I'm gonna work off this repository here. One thing I'm gonna ask you to do is. Please check out my GitHub, give me a follow. I um, often just star all these repos if you want to see what I'm thinking or planning on doing. The easiest ways to do that is by following me. The other thing is uh, today I'm going to mention this that I there will only be one video out this week and I missed uh, the Electron video on Friday. It's been a little bit busy. Uh, a lot of these subjects that I'm coming up for 2018 I actually have to teach myself, I have to learn it, I have to understand it to the nth degree so that if I get questions or people run into issues I can solve them um, with no questions asked and so I'm still going through that process and figuring things out I'm hoping to get a I'm building out a, a Mern marketplace boiler code and hopefully that comes out uh, next week and that'll be good because it's a great starting point where you can see Stripe connect and live and then you can also build a marketplace right off that I'll be putting that out next week potentially uh, but for now uh, that's why I'm just telling you there's one video in it and I'm kind of slowing down a little bit um, just for this past week just to get everything uh, figured out and uh, better prepare the videos for the future in 2018. So looking at this uh, React GH Pages uh, repo, uh, they're going to give you a couple. So it's going to use the Create Re React app, which is a common React uh, starting point. And essentially what they want you to do is have a specific node version of node, a specific NPM installed, um, and I use NVM and VM to uh, control all those things. The only one is the Create Rack, uh, React app, and I just did this, and I have this older version, so what I'm going to do is run this, NPM update, um, I'll make my screen actually bigger here, I realize that it might be hard to see, uh, NPM update dash G, which means update the global version because we're just sitting in my on my desktop right now, we're actually in a specific repository. So it's, we're looking at the global package. And so that's what that's gonna begin updating that too. Hopefully the 1.3 or maybe past that. So we will actually create uh, a repository. So we wanna go to, to GitHub, jump down and hit new repository here. Uh, it has to be pub, I mean it can be private too. Um, I rec recommend making it public because all your content will be public, so there's no point in making it private. So I'm just going to say uh, RGH demo, which just is going to stand for uh, React uh, GitHub Pages demo. And it's going to be a completely re uh, empty application. I'm setting the HTTPS, and I hit this button here. I'm going to jump back to my terminal. It said permission denied to do this. Um, so one thing I'm going to just do here is I'm just type in sudo, try it again, type in my password. It's going to continue and install. I'm just waiting so that I can open up, uh, clone this repository. Okay, so it's been upgraded to actually 1.5. And so I'm just going to do a git clone and then it tells me I've cloned an empty repo. I'm just going to switch into that folder. And I'm going to hit clear. So now I'm in that folder, so we can jump back to our demo here. I've included this link in the description below. Uh, create a new React app on your. I'm just going to call mine RGH demo. And it'll go through uh, setting up all the React elements you need. Actually, I think it'll actually screw it up. How's this begun? See, that's what I mean. That's what I was thinking that I would actually deploy inside. Um, 
Sorry, I'm just gonna actually redo a couple of steps. So I'm just gonna remove this folder to start off with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the git clone again. And I'm gonna say move this uh, folder to number two. And all I really want, hold on. And then I'm gonna run the same uh, create react, react app with instead with the same name. So what I'm doing is on my desktop, it's a mess, but uh, if I can organize this by. So I have two folders here. Demo number two has this git folder. If you're not showing hidden folders, you won't see this. But this is what I'd really want. I'm just gonna copy and paste that into this one once the installation is done. The reason why I don't wanna do that is I want the git um, so I can push it to my git repo, but I don't, I want it to be installing um, in a, an empty, like sorry, following the create react app uh, method. Or I guess in step five here, they deploy it. But I'm just gonna do, just do the copy and paste because uh, it's a lot easier. So we're currently on step number two uh, as that installs. Okay, so it tells us that we can run, uh, switch into our folder and then run do an npm run to actually uh, get it running, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna continue to follow these, so it's a switch into that folder and then do install this ghpages uh, library from npm. And so that's what we're gonna do. npm install ghpages dash dash save dash dev. And I'll run the installation for that. And then you'll need some sort of editor to, after this to open up the package.json file. Um, I'm going to use Atom here, and as soon as this is done updating, I'm going to open it up just because it's going to change the package.json file. It's going to add the GH pages to its dependencies. So it's done, so now I'm going to open up Atom. With the package.json file open here, uh, they give you some instructions on things to change, so I'm just switching back to the repository. So to change the, repo uh, the home page uh, first, and there doesn't exist, uh, homepage doesn't exist. So we should have add a comma, and my GitHub name is uh, Keith Weaver, and I call this the RGH demo. And is it private? Nope, it's not. Uh, and then I want to add two scripts here, which will allow me to deploy it. So the npm start would be just a script that uh, would um, begin running it on on the actual local host. Uh, and then this next step is them adding the git repo. You can do this git init or you can just do what um, I did here and copy over the, the blank folder, paste it in there, and then delete the uh, second folder. And technically now if you do a git status you should see all your new folders. And yeah, add do a git push, which puts it on the remote server. And the last thing you need to generate a production build of it, so you have to run this. Um, sorry, there's one other step you have to do. You have to go to settings, and if you scroll down, you have to set the GitHub pages to be on your master branch. Hit save. And if you're interested in adding a custom domain, uh, you just add it right under here. But um, Files in the project was built, so it was hosted. Okay. So we do a good status. Okay. So let's see if this successfully actually worked. And as you can see, this is the React uh, Create React Boot uh, app. And so switching back to Atom. Uh, your files live under source here, uh, right here, welcome to React. 
Um, you just update them, you change them, and then you do a git add, git commit, and then git push, which then, or you can use feature branches and everything related to git. But that's how you would put things on, then you should do the npm run deploy, which would then update your remote branch. If, you're, uh, if you like this video, please like it, uh, please subscribe, and please share it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.